Yes, oh, it's so good to be here. Look at me out here, dressed like Ellen. I, uh... <laughs> Oh, man, I, I'm celebrating, because today marks 23 years of me being not sober. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, if you're sober, I'm a people pleaser, so oh my god, me too. Um, <laughs> I am, I'm, so, I'm so sober for several hours a day, and, uh, and then the day gets better. And uh, I have friends that judge my drink, and they're, you know, they're like, you know, that stuff will take years off of your life. I'm like, eh, not the good ones. Come on, I'm not gonna trade these good years hoping to get those years where I lose control of my bodily faculties, I forget everything and I fall down everywhere I go. We're not gonna enjoy all of that right now. <laughs> Thanks to drinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I trust drinkers, they're fun, you know? I saw a guy with a hat on the other day, it said I'm an alcoholic, my favorite thing in the world is drinking outdoors and I want everyone to know it. Well, it didn't say all that, it just said Yeti. <laughs> well, that's what it meant. Uh, <laughs> come on, nobody loves coolers that much. <laughs> that's like somebody who loves nose candy wearing a hat that says mirrors. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I, uh, I have the body of a drinker. I got a little tummy. I shouldn't have a tummy. I take, I take long walks almost every single morning, you know, to go get my car. And <laughs> I, uh, but no, I have, a, I have a little tummy. I got a double chin. Does anybody, anybody in here have the Look at this. Yeah, look at me. I'm chinning Tatum, you know? <laughs> but I like my double chin. It keeps me safe, right? You know, like you couldn't put me in a headlock, <laughs> right? Try to put me in a headlock. You'll be like, I gotcha. I'll be like, nope. You couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. And I'm not a bad looking guy. Like, look, from here on up, you're like, oh, who's that? You know? Right? But here, I just got this going on. I always look like you took a photograph of a super good looking guy right when he was at the down bounce of a diving board. <laughs> like, yes, yes, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. But you can't choose where you store fat on your body. Doesn't that suck, right? If I could choose, I'd store it underneath my feet. Because then when people are like, dude, how fat are you? I'd be like, 6'4". <laughs> I'm so fat I can dunk, bro. <laughs> I'm just, uh, it just feels good to be here. It feels uh, good to connect with people again, you know? I love connecting. That's my favorite thing. I uh, was talking to this guy after my show. He was this big, burly biker dude. Teardrop tattoo, right? We all know what that means, right? I'm just trying to connect. I'm like, ah, oh, I've been thinking about getting one of those. <laughs> oh, I am a crier. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, have you seen the movie The Notebook? If you're a bird, I'm a bird. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a, I just, I like to choose kindness. Like, uh, I'll tell you what, I would never ghost a gal. Do you guys know what ghosting a gal is? <laughs> well, there's lots of different variations nowadays, but traditionally speaking, it's where a man has sex with a lady, and then afterwards, he never calls her, texts her, or sees her again. He just vanishes like a ghost. Yeah, well, let me tell you what, fellas, don't do that. That is rude business. Put the power in her hands. Don't ghost. Smother. <laughs> it's way more effective. <laughs> next time you have sex with that lady for the first time, she falls asleep next to you, send her an accidental text message. Send her a text message that says, hey, mom, think I'm at the one. <laughs> yeah. I can't be too sure, but I'm watching her sleep right now. As soon as she wakes up, as soon as her peepers flutter open, your head needs to be right there. And go, hey, guess what? And she'll be like, what? And you'll be like, forever starts right now. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be single like that. Yeah, don't ghost, haunt. All right, you guys, I'm Pete Lee. Thanks for being a great crowd. Thank you very much.